show on you. You're my dummy. You're talking to this girl over here, being a bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, he's a sentry or something. This is a sentry takedown, rear naked choke. You might have to do it if he's hitting someone, if he's being aggressive. This is like third party rescue where your cop or military taking out a guard. Whatever. It's just a good way of practicing rear naked choke. Come up on him. Sneak in. I'm going to go here and here at the same time with the oblique kick to the back of the leg. Now from here I can either drag him down or slip in my choke here. A rear naked is typically chin down so he can't peel off, but he might go back and start messing with my eyes. So even if you do that uh, sport head here, he starts messing with my eyes, I'm going to turn my head away sideways and turn my head um, sideways so I'm still... Go ahead and do the defense, two on one, two on one, pull this off. So I'm trying to get yes. So now I'm trying to stop that. Go ahead, try it. My chin is down, right? I can choke him out. If he starts going to my eyes though first, then I'm still gonna put my head sideways over it and choke him out. Okay. So sneaking off. Here. Now I own this guy and I can fight someone else using his body armor. I've done that in 10 on one event. Or I can start putting this in and I can grab him here. Here, here, or here, if they mess with your eyes, and then squeeze your elbows together. I teach the rear naked. I think a lot of guys are starting to do that. I like structural. Paint your elbows together instead of muscle. So he's taller than me, that's why I gotta break him down. I had to do this to save some bouncers. Huge dude, like 300 pounds. Got all these bouncers up, their feet lifted off the ground. So you gotta break the structure, and if they're really big, you add that at the same time. Here, I bring them down to my height. Now I'm in here, here or here, pinch the elbows towards each other before you put muscular tension. That makes it structural on the arteries, like a, like a knife cutting into both sides. So this is structural. And then if he's a tough guy and he's not tapping like he is, then I'm gonna add a little squeeze, a little extra sauce to it. Okay, and feel free to let his body weight here, use him as body armor, or drag him back here and hide your head to finish him up. Let it tap out when I'm doing something. Yeah. You're doing jiu-jitsu. You got to tap. I don't want you to. Okay, so that, uh, that's a little one. We're going to practice, and then we're going to practice one more. Uh, Aaron, we go down, lay on your back. Yep. Mount air for me. Other third party rescue. If, if I see a guy bombing on his girlfriend or something crazy, disparity of force, this, and now this guy is like, it, it, it's possibly deadly for this person. I'm gonna run up on him, go such me. I'm gonna run up and hook this and bring this guy over and control him. To me on chest, me on belly, double knee ride, and we'll do all this later. So if you're running the third party rescue, go back to mount. I see it, and I see that this is maybe not a fair fight, and I need to be involved in a cop and security, or it's a guy and he's beating a woman. Okay, or being an older guy, like an 80 year old or something. Mm -hmm. Crazy stuff's going on with I'm gonna run off and pull this, and I'm just gonna rip him off and control. What the hell are you doing? I'll control him. I'll go in here, I'll go in here, I'll choke him here, you gotta tap it up, I'll go in here. Okay? Got it? So we're gonna practice those two now for a couple minutes. Okay. Let me, uh, let me show you the. So I come off, palm to the lower back, right? How do you get some call? Okay, and you might, I mean, this might be a sport fight, or whatever. I drag the person, but now he's strong and trying to hit points, so now he throw you over the top. You gotta break the structure. This and this at the same time. And if they're a big, big dude, add that at the same time, then we kick to the back. From here, guys, you heave in, your chin over, it starts to poke you, you put it sideways. So I can finish here, I could just use them as body armor. Okay, if I'm fighting a bunch of guys, or shoot out even, or I can finish him on the way down. So you tap down the way down. You're folding the, the head down like an accordion. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. And when they do it, just get 30 seconds. Okay. You don't gotta get it. Yeah, as you walk back.
Then remember, it's always here or here. It's almost like you want to sit down. And then to finish the choke, you pinch before you muscle. No bicep contraction before you put them together. <laughs> That's the way I like to do it. <laughs> Break down the this way. My what does this do? Grab your own shoulder. Here. Weave it in hand. It goes nice sideways. Mm -hmm. Slow. Edge to to towards each other. Go. <laughs> you don't, don't want to do this. This is a little bit of progression. Make sure to breathe in my Breathe in this part. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 